hello programmers spide is back with one another video so in previous video we have seen about uh, in news uh, that was a new summarization application now in this video we are going to learn about how you can clear the aws cloud practitioner exam in just 28 days so guys i am just telling this from my experience i have created this repository in this repository i have mentioned some of the source links and i have divided the learning into the four weeks uh, and it means 28 days so in this video i'm just going with the way how you can achieve this aws cloud practitioner certification in 28 days so without wasting time let's get started so now first of all you need to understand what is uh, aws cloud practitioner so if you want to enter in the world of the cloud if you want to get uh, get a job into the any cloud domain like aws or if like aws azure cloud uh, google cloud platform these all are just a platform but if you want to start your journey with the cloud, then this is the entrance certification. If you want to just jump into the AWS, there are lots of separate certifications are available for the Azure and Google Cloud. So this certification is only for the AWS. So let uh, let me talk about this certification. Uh, this certification uh, actually doesn't require any technical. Uh, I could say uh, technical means hands-on experience knowledge. If you are from a sales person, you are a marketing person, still, still some of the jobs required to you should have that basic technical knowledge of the services. So this certification is very required for you. So how you can complete this certification? If you are a non-technical person, still you can do this certification in just one month. If you are a technical person, then you can do uh, this in just 15 days. Like I just spent my 15 to 18 days on the certification, like daily one on hour, one on hour just for uh, because as a side I'm just doing a job and inside I just I made spend almost one to two hour on this preparation of the exam so still you can achieve it so on the last Saturday I just clear on the 9th July I just clear this exam so let me share you the way so I have just as I said I just divided 28 days into the four weeks now I'm just telling you so what need to what means what the steps that you need to do all the steps are mentioned in the link so you can follow this repository I have mentioned the some links also so let's see so first of all uh, just as a, as of now like my assumption is you should have basic technical knowledge if you don't have you are from out of the field like technic uh, non technical person or marketing person still you just need to memorize some of the things you can clear this exam now uh, i am assuming that you are doing doing a job and you are preparing for this exam in a side like if uh, like you are a student or doing job or etc etc if you if you are spending the full time on for this exam you can achieve this in less than 10 days okay so here i'm mentioning the exam structure so if you don't know what is the exam structure there will be the 65 mcq there is no negative marking uh, there will be the 15 unscored question will be there uh, 90 minutes of the time and cost is 100 usd now in indian rupees it will be near to the 9 to 95k rupees 9.5k rupees uh, there are two ways to give this exam one is a pearson view second is a psi so this uh, this two is the uh, third party which is associated with aws so you can choose any of the uh, you can go to the exam center or you can give exam from home yeah but it will be the proctor exam it's very strict proctor it's not like uh, you can you can just uh, do a copy paste from the internet no don't ever try to do that otherwise your exam will be cancelled it is a proctor exam so let's talk about the syllabus in this video i'm just not going to deeper into the syllabus i'm just uh, giving you the way how you can do it so in syllabus i'm just giving you the highlight like uh, there are aws almost 200 250 plus services right now uh, in this exam aws no, is not going to consider all those services it is going to consider only 20 uh, 30 services which is topmost you can consider like ec2 lambda then aws well architecture framework uh, then aws pricing plan and some of the little bit machine learning services like SageMaker, or uh, there are lots of services that are available. Okay. Now, the key plan is you don't need to prepare like all the services. Just prepare the service which is required. Now, in this uh, in this learning, I'm just breaking down your uh, learning into the four weeks. So, if you are totally in beginner into the AWS, even when I started, I was totally beginner. I don't know about EC2, Lambda, S3. Still, what I have done, I have done just this way and I got my certification. So, you can do follow the same way. So, now I am talking about the first week. So, for a first week, uh, you this you just need to complete this course. And this is a certification course. You can say this is a like medium level, uh, not a medium level. It's very easy level certification. Uh, it is also provided from the official AWS and this certification is known as AWS Cloud Practitioner Essential. 
so uh, it will ask you for the login you can just uh, create your account here and you can do this certification course here so this course is very uh, very basic it is starting from the scratch and it is covering all the content uh, like which is useful for your exam so this course is nothing it is very easy to do in this uh, in this course at the end you will get a 30 mcq exam if you able to can pass you will get a uh, aws cloud practitioner essential certificate essential means you know little bit about aws okay but for this uh, for this aws cloud practitioner exam you just need to give this 65 mcq exam and this is paid uh, here i have mentioned this is the free uh, free resource you can just do login and complete this course okay so now let me tell you the review about this course this course is just from the official aws it is very very well structured so to learn about the aws you just need to follow this course so link is given you just need to do login and you can follow this course okay now uh, i'm assuming in first week you have done uh, like inside with the course you just need to do a little bit research from google also you cannot depend on, on any one particular material you need to know about services like what is EC2, what is actual use of the EC2, not, not only the EC2, what is S3, right? So these are the popular services. Now for a second, uh, second week. Now first week, I assume that you know about the AWS services like EC2 is virtual server, S3 is a storage bucket, IAM is for the uh, roles and security services. Now for a second week, you need to uh, know about AWS services in details with hands-on. Hands-on in the sense, if you are a not a technical person, still you can do hands-on into the AWS. You don't need to write any code there. You didn't, don't need to write any programming there. It's very easy. You can do it. Now, uh, why I'm preferring hands-on? The reason is that if you have the hands-on knowledge, then you can give the exam just like pro. Otherwise, if you if you know you are lacking with the hands-on knowledge, then you know that that will be you know creating a lack uh, kind of lack of knowledge bit because. Uh, in the real exam they are going to ask you not only the uh, simple question they will ask you the scenario basic uh, questions like uh, this is the company this is the situation what service you will prefer right so in scenario based question even you know that uh, near uh, that option r will be very near so you will be at a time you will be very confused like what option do i need to choose so now second week i always strongly recommend to you should have the hands-on knowledge I'm not telling you just do hands-on for each and every service, but you should create a one-time one time EC2 instance, create S3 bucket, learn more about the uh, IEM role, roles, policy, and services. Okay, this thing is required. You just need to do it one time. You will get remember all these things. Now, for this, I have mentioned this. Uh, uh, this is actually free course. Uh, you can say it is one YouTube video from freecodecamp.org. So this video is very 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 good this is a free material you can do it you just watch it and follow it inside it is very good material you you can uh, get a good good amount of the practical hands-on learning from this video now uh, if you want to you know more in details or if you uh, see or uh, like i'm not against in any youtube video it's very very good but still sometimes uh, might be uh, what happened you you just need to find very 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 structured content so this is the course which is provided on the udemy so you, this is actually very good course even i have also taken in 475 rupees on the udemy so this course is the same as this like so this is optional you can if you want then you can do it otherwise you can prefer this free one courses also now in this udemy course uh, it this course is providing you the one real-time quiz which is containing the 65 mcq uh, there are like stud, lots of study material hands-on and then there are like you can say hands-on are providing provided for each and every services so with this course you will get a good amount of the theoretical knowledge as well as practical knowledge also even if you are a non-technical person still th so that's why i'm preferring this course is very good you know i have purchased this course because i just want a very structured knowledge i uh, i just don't want to uh, care for that money obviously it is very less amount course you can say 475 rupees is nothing okay so you can purchase it if you want now I, I uh, now I just I'm assuming that you have completed your second week. Uh, now let's focus on the third week. Now uh, you know third week is just going to be very. Uh, it's going to be practice week. You just need to practice yourself. Okay. So for practicing, uh, you should have the good amount of the MCQ material because in a exam there will be the lots of tough and difficult MCQs are there, right? So for that you should have the. Uh, MCQ, you can you can uh, you can get a uh, lots of MCQs from the internet. You just need to do a Google search. Still, I am mentioning the, some of the resources like examtopic.com, AWS Boy, and 300 MCQs are here. So these all are the 
uh, free MCQ stuff, you can just do sign up and yeah, this is you, even you can give the uh, kind of test exam here also. Okay, so just uh, my request is to just verify all the answers because if you have any doubt regarding the answer, just double check on the Google because it might be some answers can be wrong also because this is the online so you cannot trust blindly, right? So now for third week, that's why you know third week is very very uh, crucial because you need to practice all the MCQs in real time quiz. Now apart from these three material, there is a one golden material uh, I could say. Uh, actually i just forget to put the links here okay but it, i will update it but this six practice quiz uh, that is provided for, from the udemy so uh, what is this six practice quiz is covered actually this is the same quiz uh, which is uh, you know correlated with this udemy course so i have purchased uh, these two one is course and one is quiz so for same price i just purchased this quiz now why i'm preferring this quiz so this quiz is actually more harder than the real time exam this quiz is designed according to the AWS exam pattern and it is very very harder than the real-time exam so you know it will create uh, it will give you the lots of good practice so I strongly recommend to buy this quiz it's nothing 475 you can spend it and I request you to just give uh, at least two to three quizzes quiz on the daily basis because you have very less amount of the day so for seven days if you are giving this quiz like daily to seven so it will be near to the 14 quiz so it will create a good amount of the practice and it will increase your speed of answering so uh, answering speed is also required because in 90 minute you need to tick the 65 mcq okay you have very good amount of the time still uh, still but uh, obviously time is uh, time obviously matters so you need to have a lots of practice and if you are you know purchasing this quiz then i must say Key, you know in first attempt you always get a near to the 60 or might be you will get fail because this exam is containing the real time marking scenario so if you are getting less than 70 percent you will get fail and obviously even i was also get fail in this exam because this was very very harder so you need to give it re re attempt, re -attempt many times in this in this case you will get answers also with explanation and proper links so now if you are getting more than 85 percent in any of this quiz then then you are good to go and you can book your exam because you have done lots of good practice because these quiz are very very harder so if you are getting 85 percent more than 80 or 85 percent you can uh, give the real time exam as well okay now i assume that you have done lots of practice but still don't let the practice in fourth week fourth week will be the same you just need to practice all these quizzes but now in fourth week I am mentioning the one golden document that I have not actually given into starting because uh, this is the AWS white paper. Now if you don't know what is AWS white paper, AWS has created one document that is containing all the, uh, you know, it's very, you can see this is the document for all the services. Now if, if uh, you know, I have not mentioned this in starting because you will get bored. Okay. So in preferring starting, I am just prefer to watch the, all the videos and in the last week of your learning just don't forget to watch this i means read this don't watch this it, you don't forget to read this uh, document it is containing you know description for each and every services each and every services so uh, here some of the services are maybe not going to ask in the exam but still you will get a lots of idea from this document right so i request you it is near to the 80 or 83 pages yeah 85 pages so what you need to do before exam just read this document don't like just don't for just go for the only read you just need to understand what it meant to say is just understand the use of the services right like if someone asks uh, what is a uh, simple storage service or s3 so s3 simple objects uh, object storage service that can be used to store your data into the aws so this like this that's how you can understand any of the services right so this is the good it's very good material to read now uh now there is a one another uh from the aws there are lots of practice questions are provided so here at the same you need to have the account Th this is a practice quiz you will get i think 20 to 30 mcq here so from that you will get a real time learning as well so this is the fourth week and i think after this fourth week end of the fourth week you are done and most of the important resources are this is uh, you can see this six quiz it is very important okay so after the completion of fourth week you are good to go with the exam now let's talk about exam like i'm sharing my experience and what was the exam environment and all okay so best of luck for your exam but before uh, ending this video 
uh, let me talk about my exams in my exam there was a uh, in starting there was a very like i could say not even very difficult it was a little bit difficult type of a question which was asked from the well architecture framework uh, now i am not interested that much in the theory so at the time i am not like i have seen the basic of the well architecture framework but in not i have not checked into the depth so at that time uh, i found that mcqs were difficult because i was not that much prepared with the well architecture framework still i managed to answer and i can able to pass the exam but okay so this is the aws well architecture is a golden topic after that my mcqs uh, are very very i could say easy uh, just like services like in this situation what you will do some of the question are related to pricing plan like difference between basic developer plan or uh, enterprise plan okay so you after the learning all this thing you will get all this answers by automatically you just need to have the practice okay so my exam was started uh, just i scheduled my exam in 4 am in the morning because uh, according to the exam rule you should be into the silent room uh, you, there is no noise noise is allowed okay so that's why i prefer morning time so i started my exam writing at 4:20 and 4:45 in just 25 minute i just finished my exam and after the around 9 hours i got my result via email okay so that's how exam pattern uh, i choose the pearson view now let me tell you about pearson view it is a third party uh, which is you know associated with aws now uh, you need to schedule your exam in pearson view uh, just let me tell you the one like you can read all this into the pearson view site as well but i'm just uh, giving you the highlights uh, the, no watch no pen paper calendar like there is nothing related to the book not even any uh, like any book is not allowed on your table no headphone no other things are allowed no white uh, you can say no white paper is also allowed your laptop should be in working condition your mic speaker and camera should be in working you should be in light environment otherwise your uh, there will be the proctor for another side they, if you are not in good situation then uh, they will not start your exam controls are in the hand of the proctor so if you are a caught while uh, like even your screen uh, screen will be sharing at the exam time so you, it will be locked you cannot able to uh, go and outside of the exam window right there is no second person is allowed so even speaking question is not allowed you just need to read the question in mind you cannot able to speak the question in loud okay so that's what that was my exam experience and i would say best of luck for, uh, from your uh, my side okay so just be prepared well and clear the exam and do your certification so if you like this video don't forget to share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe machine learning hub youtube channel and you will get this uh, material from the link and just give star to this repository and follow me on the github as well so guys thank you for the listening see you into the next one